Oh hi, you see I was just fixing my watch because it used to look like this and now it looks like this which I think is a slight improvement. You see, the way I fix it was using Plastimec. This stuff is awesome and what it is, it's a biodegradable substance with a low melting point of around 333 degrees Kelvin or 60 degrees Celsius. The reason why I used it to make my watch look like this was because before people said it looked like I had sneezed on it which you can't really blame him because it kind of did and I think it looks quite a bit better now. Anyway, I've got a test that I want to do with Plastimec to see how strong it is, so let's go do that. Alright, so here I am. Got the weight, uh, just mind the birds in the background. Their nest is right over there and they're a bit angry. But anyway, I'm going to drop this onto the Plastimec from about 2 metres. Ish. So you ready? One, two, three. I don't actually know how well that hit it, but it made a dent in the ground. I'm gonna try it again. Three, two, one. Fire out, okay, dead hit there. And all it did was bend it out of shape a bit. Mate, Plastimec is strong. But now with that, I wanna see if I can calculate the force. So force equals mass times acceleration. I've got the mass, which is roughly one and a half kilos. And all I need is the acceleration. Okay. Now these birds are really annoying me. I'm getting out of here. Filming somewhere else. I'll go on the shed to do calculating. All right, so where was I? Oh, yep. Force equals mass times acceleration. Mass is 1.5. Acceleration is change in velocity divided by time. It fell for about one second. So, so that means acceleration is roughly two times acceleration times mass, 1.5. So force was three, three newtons. Something is definitely up because that equals to about 0.3 kilos of force. Considering this thing is heavier than that, something has been miscalculated. I think it is the speed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review the footage and calculate actually how long it took to fall. So 48 newtons, that means it is about 4.89 kilograms of force, which makes a whole lot more sense. So then again, that's still not quite a lot that I was putting on this Plastimec. But considering just resting this weight on this broket, that's pretty good. So as you may or may not know, I'm not that great at using equations to calculate things. So this was quite the uh, learning process for me, as you could see. But um, I was actually quite happy with how it turned out and how I actually got some results. And just how strong Plastimec is. Um, if you do want some of this yourself, there will be a link in the description. It uh, can do all kinds of things like fix watches. But um, also this again is not a sponsor as you may have seen some text around on the video. Just making that very clear. This is just me making a video about something I like. But anyway, hope you did enjoy that video. And if you think I've earned it, then do consider subscribing. But until then, I'll see you next time.